So we start with natural gas and we're going to add air coming out the other side we're going to get our products of combustion. The idea here is how much air do we have to add to the natural gas in order to get what we need on the other side. Or if we wanted to take propane and add air, same thing to get our products of combustion. Now, what we have is two different gases, but it's actually irrelevant of the type of gas as to how much air you need. Air requirements are based on BTUs, and they're based on 1,000 BTUs. So the idea is, for every 1,000 BTUs, what you need is 10 cubic feet of air for combustion. Now that's actually perfect combustion. Okay. So for every 1,000 BTUs, doesn't matter what type of gas, you need 10 cubic feet of air for perfect combustion. Of that, one-third is what we call primary, and two-thirds is secondary. Now, as well as having this, we also need to supply some excess air. So for an atmospheric burner, a natural draft burner, what we generally say is you supply 50% of um, combustion air. Okay? So if we have 10 cubic feet of air for perfect combustion, 50% of that is 5 cubic feet. Okay? And we call that excess air. And we can even write down that's 50% of combustion. And the third one, the type of air you need, is what's called dilution air. Now, if we sent 10 cubic feet of air in for perfect combustion and 5 cubic feet of air in for excess, that goes through and that mixes and that does all the combustion process. Coming out the other side, at the draft hood, okay, or the draft control device, we're going to add this air, dilution air, and what we add it for is to slow down the gases and to cool down the gases. 10 cubic feet plus 5 cubic feet is 15, and that's actually what we get for dilution air. 15 cubic feet of dilution air. Now remember, the key to this whole thing is these numbers, the 10 cubic feet, 5 cubic feet, and 15 cubic feet, are all based on a thousand BTUs. If you had an appliance that was two thousand BTUs, you double all these numbers. Now sometimes what you'll see as well is at the end of the day, they'll add them up, they'll call it total air, and total air is thirty cubic feet per thousand BTUs. And that's simply the addition of the ten, the five, and the fifteen. So Whenever you're dealing with your air requirements, how much air you need to send in, it doesn't matter on the type of gas. What it matters is the number of BTUs, and everything is based off 1,000 BTUs. And there you go.